I am a virtual world millionaire. In fact, I'm the first documented person to make a million dollars in virtual reality. My name is Never Die. I was born John Jacobs. I'm a virtual person. I became John Never Die Jacobs. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you that I am Never Die. I am my avatar. I came to Hollywood to be a movie star. I made back-to-back -back independent films. I starred in them, I wrote, I directed them. Let the celebration begin! At the same time, I'm totally broke. The only job I could get was Starbucks. After 10 years of making these movies, I was burned out. I'd been working on a movie for about three years, and my fiance passed away, leaving me with my five-year-old son. Why did mom die? Oh, and at that point in time, I really didn't know where to go. It was just a devastating time. I was in between worlds. I was playing this video game. Hello, I'm Never Die, the Avatar. My avatar started to become very wealthy because it was a real money video game. The stuff that my avatar had was worth more money than I had in the bank. And I actually started selling my virtual guns to pay the mortgage. And I very soon realized that my avatar was richer and more famous than I was. So a crazy idea came to me. Wow. And I decided to mortgage my house to buy a digital asteroid and it became instant headline news all over the world. I sold apartments on an asteroid to hundred thousand dollars after eight months. It landed me in the Guinness Book of Records, inside every documentary in the world, in every magazine, newspaper. I was earning more money on a consistent basis than I ever had in my life. to open a nightclub inside virtual reality. I was running Club Never Die for a year and basically running all the biggest events and parties and sporting stuff and bringing DJs. Me being a DJ, he said, yo man, you gotta come play at this club. And here I'm thinking, all right, it's gonna be a real club and whatnot. I show up, we're jacking into the computers and before I know it, I'm signed to his virtual record. <laughs> I used to be a cop in Montreal. John showed me what his vision was, and I was sold. I can honestly say John is the one thing that has saved my life, and I love him like a brother. And at the same time, I always gotta see what's coming around the corner, because you never really know. This is the studio's baby. In the next, like, literally six weeks, this has gotta become cash flow positive. Look at that, look, see that? That's sweet, that's ours. I've got a really amazing team working with me. I found people on Craigslist, out of colleges. I got also a couple of fantastically experienced guys, um, or one. Michael works around the clock. In the early days of the studio, I would say, Michael, go home, what are you doing? But as time has gone on, Michael is the one that's actually learned Michael. the most. He's wearing five or six caps, and there's just no way that I can afford to stop him working. We're meeting Gardo. We, we've got to do that pitch. I was up till fucking 5.30 in the morning, man, talking with Sweden. <laughs> <sighs> hey, what's going with you? You alright? Hey, hey man, what's going on? I'm, I'm the vice president of the company, actually. He's, he, he's a miracle worker. I have Joe, he is the champion of the studio. He brings in all the dough. In order to keep himself balanced, he works out like a fiend. Of course, he is constantly picking up these gorgeous girls and bringing them back to the studio, which I love because that sets the tone, except my guys can't concentrate when there's beautiful women in the studio. They're like prisoners here in their dark cubicles, so as soon as they see a skirt walk by, they're gone. So Joe is godfather to my son Towson. So I've been leaving my son when I've been traveling with Joe, and it's been amazing because it has a very positive impact on Towson. It's very, very cool. I'm grateful. I'm like a demigod. I'm part of the development of the platform. 
And now we're building planets. I managed to build a whole rock and roll music planet. I started the planet off with Motorhead and Lemmy, then hooked up with Kevin Rudolph, had a huge hit with Lil Wayne, Let It Rock. My absolute, you know, uh, biggest star is Cherry Moon. <laughs> we already had a number one this year. She's currently number two in the UK clubs. You want me to describe John? How many adjectives can I use? International. Okay, we're back in LA and uh, we get to see our babies. Mm. I missed you. It's a battle between family and work. I'm starting up a new business, building up a record label. We're launching virtual worlds, and I've also got three kids that I gotta nurture. Yeah. Can't you just give me another Yeah, she's just gonna sit here. She's not gonna bother you. Thing is, is that when I'm at home, I'm still really working on stuff. Oh, come on, baby. Because there's no end to my day, and mm -hmm. Cherry expects me to take the kids off her. And I really, you know, I, I mean, listen, I just can't do it. Let's go and have some family time. Hey, Flo. Hey. Let's go check these out. What's going on? No, no, come, oh, come yeah. sit here. Yeah. You gotta see this. Look at the new stats on these weapons. Wow. What do you think? Well, basically, these new guns are gonna be totally I can't believe that, Michael. Ugh. Cock blocker. Man, to be so disrespectful to another colleague is, to me, unbearable at times. Sometimes I lose it and get hot about it, but I shouldn't. That's all I can say. Try to call him. See what happens. Fuck you, man. My life is absolutely insane, but I love it. When we're doing the events, the live events, time. We've been surviving on a wing and a prayer for the last, you know, six or seven months. The bottom line is that every single day we're stuck with the dilemma of, are we gonna make a billion dollars tomorrow? or are we gonna be eating out of soup cans? I've worked with the biggest names in pop music. Now I'm in the Guinness Book of Records again, and Forbes magazine's list of people to watch in 2011. And yet at the same time, I'm you know counting every dime. We are fighting for our survival. There are people who would be happy to see us friggin' fail, and we're not gonna fail. Imagine a future like Avatar. People are living inside virtual worlds, Stars need to have incredible destinations, and that's what we do. I might build a city for Jay-Z. I might build a palace for Lady Gaga. We make pop, rock, hip-hop planets, right? So that, that, that things are inspired, they're fresh, they're alive. And that's what we're doing. That's our business. Me. Hey. A -V -A.